I'd like to share with you the results of uh, a similar study that we performed at the Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands. And um, I'll start off with a short introduction on tamoxifen. Um, we have known that uh, this drug, which has been used for several decades, to be uh, very effective in treating breast cancer. However, there's still a substantial part of patients uh, who will get a disease recurrence uh, despite their treatment uh, with uh, tamoxifen. And this lack of response may be because of uh, two things that we addressed, poor tamoxifen adherence, so patients is not taking their pills uh, the right way, or aberrations in the tamoxifen metabolism. And I'll show you uh, schematically uh, what happens. So tamoxifen itself is a pro-drug and is little effective of itself and is metabolized uh, by the enzyme CYP2D6 to uh, endoxifen, which is nowadays considered the most active and most potent metabolite, but based on in vitro data. So these CYP2D6 inhibiting drugs, CYP2D6 inhibitors, can uh, inhibit the activity of CYP2D6, leading to a decrease in endoxifen levels, and we hypothesize that this will lead to a decrease in your tamoxifen efficacy and increase in breast cancer recurrences. So these are uh, the inhibitors that we are looking at. Uh, most important inhibitors are peroxetine and fluoxetine. And um, well, the importance is stressed by the fact that these uh, type of drugs are commonly co-prescribed -pres in up to 30% of uh, breast cancer patients using tamoxifen in US populations. Other uh, drugs are cardiac medication or antimycotics, but peroxetine and fluoxetine are most commonly uh, prescribed. So we did the study to assess the safety of CYP2D6 inhibitor used during adjuvant tamoxifen treatment, but also to illustrate the importance of good tamoxifen adherence, because only one study uh, uh, linked uh, bad tamoxifen adherence to an increase in overall, or an increase in uh, uh, mortality, all cause. So we looked at 1,962 patients, nearly 2,000 patients who used tamoxifen in the adjuvant treatment setting, uh, and we used three different databases uh, to, to look at that. Um, and we looked at concomitant CYP2D6 inhibitor use and tamoxifen adherence and related this to breast cancer recurrences which were defined in a pathology database or uh, uh, as uh, in a hospital admission database. So what we did find is uh, that 11% of these uh, around 2,000 patients used a CYP2D6 inhibitor concomitantly, and 8% were frequent users. So the mean uh, duration of use of tamoxifen was two and a half years, and 50% of that time a patient was also using a CYP2D6 inhibitor, mostly paroxetine and fluoxetine. And surprisingly, in contrast with uh, the results of the previous speaker, we could not find any uh, increased risk for breast cancer recurrence in patients using CYP2D6 inhibitors. So these are the results for adherence. Um, in our general breast cancer Dutch population, we found a mean adherence of 93%. And um, what we did is we, we related this to breast cancer recurrence, and as we uh, had expected, we found a reduced risk for breast cancer recurrence in patients who had good tamoxifen adherence, and um, this was uh, statistically significant. I'm sorry, this uh, refers to uh, uh, the results here above, and uh, there was a 27% reduced risk in patients who were poorly, uh, who were uh, uh, good adherent. So concluding, we could not detect any hazard of the concomitant CYP2D6 inhibitor use. However, in light of the results of the previous speaker and results on uh, CYP2D6 genotype and uh, its effect on efficacy, caution is still warranted. Um, what's another important message is that it seems only sensible to improve tamoxifen adherence and to set up clinical strategies to, uh, uh, to improve this adherence to decrease breast cancer recurrences and maybe even breast cancer mortality. I'd like to acknowledge uh, all the collaborators and thank you for listening.